Hey guys, I'm Gold and I have made three different tools to help you with color correction. So first off, we have the white balance checker, which as the name suggests, helps you find white balance by showing you which pixels are neutral by painting them green. Well, secondly, we have the clipping checker, which shows you which pixels are clipping either on the white side or the black side by respectively painting them red or magenta. And last but not least, we have the hue checker, which allows you to select a hue range and then shows you whether a pixel is in the range or falls on one side or the other. So let's head over to DaVinci Resolve. I have set up this demo project with uh, some color space transforms from Log C3 to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate and back to Rec 709. So while well, usually you would grade in between here, when using the different checkers I have made, it's a good idea to put it at the end of your pipeline. The white balance checker, as the name suggests, helps you find neutral areas. So when you open up the digital, you have two controls, threshold and bypass. Bypass simply turns the digital off and threshold lets you choose how big of a deviation it shows as being good. So if I set it near zero, you can only see a few dots of green. But if I set it a bit higher, you can see some nice areas that it thinks are neutral. So it's your choice where to set it precisely. By default, it's at 0.015, which as you can see, targets some areas, which you can see might be too narrow for some use cases. So you can change it. Going on to the next one, the clipping checker. Well, as you can see with this image, we have a black background that we might not notice without this. And also some completely black pixels here in the corner. And thankfully there are no white clipping pixels. So if I'd want to simulate some, I can just crank up to offset to show you what happens if there are clipping white pixels? They turn red. And as you already saw, if the opposite is true, black clipping pixels turn magenta. So that's the clipping checker. And the last one is the hue checker. By default, it targets the skin tones. And in this test image, they're correct already. But if I change the hue selection, then you'll see what would happen if they weren't. If the hue is incorrect to one side, it turns green. If to the other, it turns magenta. So these skin tones are correct. But if I would make them incorrect with this one, let's say this is the actual image we got, then now I could start correcting them trying to find the correct place. And there we go, this looks pretty good. And the last two controls are detection range and bypass. Well, bypass just disables the whole DCTL, but detection range lets you choose how far it looks to either side. And the more you increase it, the more of the scene it paints green and magenta. So that's about it for this DCTL. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want it, you can buy it uh, from that link down in the doobly-doo and see you in the next one.